fresh produce to cities. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is New Jersey State Assemblyman Gilbert Wilp Wilson. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. When we talk about some of the options available in cities, talk to us a little bit about what that actually means in terms of access to fresh fruit, fresh vegetables. You say that some of the cities in the state of New Jersey are actually urban food deserts when it comes to access to those fresh fruits and vegetables. Well, that's correct. The issue we have sometimes, some of our towns have no supermarkets in it whatsoever. Uh, my hometown has one, it's Path Mark, but Atlantic City, I believe, has zero in it. So what happens here, you have people who can't get access to fresh fruit and vegetables. So when we talk about this, what this actually means for overall nutrition, people may not have access to these types of products at all. They may be shopping at corner stores, which may be more expensive than a supermarket. So we're dealing with higher costs and a lack of access. Well, lack of access, and sometimes some of the stores may have things in there that's not as fresh as it should be. So by us putting this bill through, it will help us so much. Also, it will help our farmers also move products from the farm. It gives them a whole new clientele base. Now, what this bill actually does is brings those pro that, that produce to people within urban areas. And it's a little bit different than a farmer's market in that it's on wheels. It's on wheels. That's why we call it the mobile first produce market. And what can happen here will go from different areas within a community. For instance, senior citizens complex. They can go there or a school or a community center. There's a lot of places they can go with this. So that's why it's so good to be accessible to everybody to get to. Now, this is a piece of legislation uh, that you're working to move forward at this point, but where does this legislation, this mobile fresh produce market, uh, actually stand at this point? Well, right now, we've been um, very good with it so far. It's passed the Assembly, it's passed the Senate, made some amendments in the Senate, now it comes back to the Assembly. And if it's voted through through the Assembly again, then if the governor signs it, it can become law. And if it does become law, it'll be my first piece of legislation I've passed, which is really funny to me, coming from agriculture, other committees are um, public safety and veterans. So to have my first piece of education come out of agriculture, being a city guy, is really something. Uh, now for this, uh, when we talk about an idea like this, having access uh, to fresh fruit, fresh vegetables uh, within an urban setting, you say one of the barriers is not actually having these supermarkets, not actually having uh, the produce available, but you say another barrier can be transportation. When a city doesn't have a supermarket or there's only one within an entire city, that can be a major issue as well. Well, yes, that can be a problem I mean, you have none or one getting back and forth, especially to our seniors citizens. And um, I guess a tie into this is a bill that I've sponsored also, and it's about taxi cabs. Um, I know in Camden City, for instance, our cabs have no meters in them. And I don't think that's fair to cons consumers, so I'm going to have a bill passed that says that um, towns of 12,000 or more, you have cabs in your town, you have to have meters. I believe we're the only major city in the state that don't have meters in their cabs. I've checked on um, Atlantic City, Newark, Trenton, all the major towns, and they all have some kind of regulations when it comes to cabs as far as fare goes. They don't tell you how much to charge, but they have some kind of regulations. So therefore, we need the same type of thing in Camden because it is alleged that certain times in a month, the fare could take and fluctuate for people going to and around Camden City. Were you actually hearing complaints from constituents? I've heard from some seniors about this, um, where it may cost um, one price maybe around the first of the month, and then maybe sometime later on, the price will change. So I think it should be a uniform thing where everybody's treated equally and the same, and you know you get into the cab exactly what it's going to cost you. And this is legislation that you've introduced at this point? That is correct. And we just have a few seconds left, but uh, when we talk about the idea of bringing fresh fruits and vegetables, is this something that you're hoping to establish for the next spring season to actually get this up and running? Well, it only depends how soon uh, we can get it passed. Hope it gets done by this session. And then it's the thing about getting uh, the vendors, get their permits, the vehicles inspected, those type of things. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. We've been talking with New Jersey State Assemblyman Gilbert Wilson. I'm Jill Horner.